What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and we are continuing our journey in Hawaii. I'm here with Ryan again from Ryan Myers Expedition and today we are... Well, we're gonna start whipping, but the main goal is to go lobstering. So we're gonna go night diving for lobster. So you can see we still got light. We gotta wait for that sunset. So before then, see if we can catch a fish off the rocks. All right, first cast. Let's see if we get anything here. Okay, nothing there on the first one. Cast number two. A little bit deeper. I'm going on top of this rock right here. <laughs> this is such a beautiful area. It's amazing. Look at this place right off the cliff my goodness how beautiful is this freaking hawaii love it yeah, it's a little windy so this is the kind of stuff they use in hawaii just little grubs this is just a crappie jig just a little crappie jig and one of these uh one of these things this guy floats actually and it also lights up Hmm, maybe the battery died but uh yeah that's what you use something like that you could probably use like a carolina rig got him got him right on the edge of that rock this is a good fish i only have eight pound test on looks like a nice fish holy crap it's a straight cliff i don't know how i'm gonna get that guy up here oh my gosh oh it looks like a good fish what is that dude it's a very silvery very chrome looking fish what is he you gonna see that very chrome it's kind of long going on the edge here holy crap how am i gonna get him up I might try to get him up over there. You got a real fish? Yeah. What? I don't know what kind of fish that is. I'm sure you know. What Whoa. is that? It's a, uh, it's a lie they call it. Is that a good, good fish? Um. Is it a eater or? I don't eat them, but I guarantee people do. <laughs> I think we will. I'm gonna try to lift him up over here first. Um, I only have eight pound test. Okay, okay. So it might snap. Hold on. I'm gonna have to go for it. You can go for it. <laughs> there it is. Nice. There it is. Sick. Bro, he caught a fish Dude. in Hawaii from shore. Oh yeah. Nice. What is it called again? It's a lie. A lie. It's some kind of like I think it's in like the queen fish family. Yeah. You know? But um, I I I know you can see me that thing. Oh heck yeah! After Ouch. After I saw what you did the other day. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It looks like a little like a mackerel, yeah. like Spanish mackerel yeah. or something. Which would have more of that good sashimi quality, yeah. Yeah. Got him on the first cast on this side, Get right on the edge of the rock. I had given up. <laughs> hey. Heck yeah. Got one. Check this guy out. Oh. Beautiful fish. It's going to be tasty. We're going to sashimi it. You know we are. <laughs> I got this jig right on the, just on the edge. Literally like almost on the rock and he hit it but one thing i know for sure is this line is frayed now eight pound test and it's frayed it's not going to be i'm not landing another fish if i don't uh retie here okay we're ready to go again sorry if it's super windy because uh i'm standing right in the wind <laughs> nice 
after that time. That's a good ledge, I know that for sure. All right, let's try this side. Soft cast. Right in between the rocks. Come on, something hit it. Mm -hmm, nothing. All right, let's go again on the outside. Sun's gone. Time for lobster? Hey, it's getting dark now, so it's time for lobster. And he says there could be some slipper lobster, which I've never had. And I really want to try that. Hope I get one. All geared up and ready to go. Night diving has actually become my favorite time to dive. It's, it's just a lot of fun. You get, I think you get focused a little more because you can only look at what your light is hitting. And you see some stuff that you don't see during the day and these lobster start coming out and crawling around the rocks. And I get one right here uh, pretty quick in the dive. In Hawaii, you have to catch them by hand, just like California, and you're not allowed to use any kind of tickle stick or net uh, like you are allowed to in Florida. Oh, this one has eggs. Yeah. Gotta let it go. Uh, you wanna grab that bag? and we're diving anywhere from five feet to 30 feet here and as I find the lobsters crawling around I try not to shine the light directly onto them as to not spook them and my GoPro is on my light so it's a little bit uh, difficult to get the angle sometimes of uh, myself actually approaching the lobster Double grab. Yeah. What do Wait, we got? We got keepers or? Oh, big one's a female. Now you see that little shiny dot in the center of the screen? I'm trying to point at it there. I'm going to approach it because I think that might be a lobster. And look at that. As I get closer, I can definitely see two eyes and know that that is in fact a lobster. So, oh, make my grab. Check it out. Check if it's a male or female. And I think this one ended up being another female. Those are babies. Bro, there's a huge one in that cave. Really? Yeah. You gonna go for it? I don't know. How far in the cave? You feel good or no? Uh... It's, it's uh... It's only like six feet into the cave, but like... It looks a little tight. Okay. I'll go. Big female! Oh, it's a female. So many females out today. Oh, man. Yeah. That was a good spot, though. Yeah. Big one. All right, buddy. All right. What's crazy is they get like... Just get like three times the size. Oh yeah. I don't know where the big ones are. The big males. We'll find them though. Uh, we'll, we'll find them. This one's a male, so he's going in the bag. 
And right here, I'm looking at the bottom and swimming towards this rock. And all of a sudden, I look up, and in shallow water, there's a big one. And I make my grab. Oh, you're right, like the head is yeah. huge. See, yeah, you got robbed. Yeah. I'm like bastards. See? Ginormous. Like yeah. it doesn't get any bigger. Yeah. Mission complete. All right, now we got a nice little fire going. Oh, we're gonna get those coals nice and hot and then we're gonna cook our lobster we had a we had a pretty good dive it was just a quick like i don't know hour hour and a half dive but you saw how many lobster we got just within that time i started out you know with some smaller lobsters and then worked my way and then on the last very last uh last minute that we were in there uh, i i told ryan let me get one more lobster before we go and and then I ended up getting my biggest lobster ever. And that thing is pretty big. The head is huge. I guess the, the lobster here, the heads get real big with the tails. Uh, they stay kind of small. And we'll show it to you right now what I mean by that. Check this out. We got a few more, but this is what we have in the cooler. This is the biggest one we got. I got a pretty nice lobster. But the head is like, you know, five, six inches. But the tail isn't, isn't that big. <laughs> it's still a nice lobster. The legs on them are pretty thick, so we can definitely eat those. What's crazy is he's got all these little like polyps. And I think those are some kind of parasite. Yeah. I've seen that a couple times on the real big ones. Uh-huh. Taku, I hear um I hear these are real good sashimi, bro. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they're 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 like lobster persebes. They kind of do look lobster like gooseneck them. barnacles, man. Uh -huh. These are some good sized lobster. I really like this one. This last one that I got. I'm so happy I got it, man. That was the coolest. That was the coolest. This one was the last. How many do you think? How much? How many pounds do you think? I don't know. Yeah. Four or five, yeah. probably. Four or five, this is yeah, a good one. Robert. This is liquor store garlic. This is like such good garlic, actually. It's a good fire. It's hot. Cool. Yeah, I just got a lot of energy. All right. I'm just going to take the tails off of these guys and we'll do something else with the heads. If you want to see what I do with the heads, follow me on Instagram, Outdoor Chef Life. Uh, you can check it out there. But yeah, the proportion of the head versus the tail is pretty crazy. Like the head is so much bigger while the tail stays kind of small. So we're just gonna eat the tails today. And the way I do that, we'll just cut in, in right here, right into the head, cut up, and just go all the way around. Ouch, spiky. And you just twist and pull. Yeah. There she comes. There's still a lot of meat in there. A lot of meat, a lot of uh, meat in the head, meat in the legs, and the antenna. So I'm gonna keep this for later.
I'm gonna start with the with the lobster straight on the coals here. Just the sail side. We're gonna go straight on the coals. Ooh, it's hot. Heat this up first. Just gonna season the pan first so it's ready. Uh, once the lobsters are just seared on the shell side, I'm gonna throw them down on the uh, cast iron on the meat side. So I forgot one important ingredient, which is salt. Very important. But Let's luckily, right you like that? we're on the beautiful Kona coast which has uh, this, we're in these Taipo area. And look at that, that is salt, sea salt, straight from the ocean. That's good. You got this little, uh, little tiny Taipo that's drying up. How much you need? Natural sea salt. I'll just, uh, my hands are real lobstery. Here, keep going out here, there's more out here. There's that little, let's look for a little bit wider opening. Yeah, that's some. Oh, that's some nice flaky sea salt. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually like still liquid underneath, which is like a layer of salt on top. That's how the Hawaiians have been doing it for a really long time. Straight from the source. Gonna go directly on the coals first. Start with the bigger ones. Just the shell side. Ooh, these are red. These are hot. Hot, hot coals. Burning hot coals. Yeah, turning red already. Okay, here's the salt we just gathered. You know, we'll just, we'll just go ahead and season that up. Oh yeah, it's going. It's going. This one's looking, looking like it's coming through. I'm gonna pull these lobsters off. They're like half done. So we'll take them off the heat. I'm gonna heat up my uh, cast iron again. And we'll finish it off on the cast iron. This is gonna incorporate so much of the very tasty, smoky flavor into the lobster. Also cook it all the way through. There we go. Boom. Go straight onto the coals. There we go. That's pretty flat. True outdoor chef life. There we go. Scoot some coals under there. I'm gonna spread some butter on these guys. All right, we got some parsley and basil. I'm just gonna throw this fresh herbs right on there. Fresh parsley and what was that? Fresh and parsley and basil. Basil, yeah. I'm gonna use a little bit of oil first. Let's see. That's good right there. Nice and hot. All right. Try to get the bigger pieces of lobster first. So that's gonna take the longest to cook. And slap her on there. Ooh. He's hot. It's like I do a bit better. <laughs> oh yeah, can I get I'm the garlic? I have to cook them too long. You know? Yeah. And Phil, the garlic is black. <laughs> Lobsters are undercooked. What about these chilies? Yeah, let's just get those chilies in here too. Oh? Yeah, I'll just put them in whole. We have these Hawaiian chilies. I'm just gonna put them in there whole. There you go. That'll be good. That guy's looking good. Let me get a little more butter. Ready? Let's yeah. scrape it off. I'm 
More herbs. Okay, these are these are done. I'm gonna call it. We're pretty much done here. I'm going to use just the residual heat from the cast iron. Move this off somehow. Boom. Oh, these look great. Okay, we got nice, crispy herbs and garlic and butter. And chilies, of course. L little brown butter action. And a little more sea salt to finish things off. There you go. Very simple and easy. Grilled lobster over charcoal. All right, here we go. We got some lobster for dinner. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Sam. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I wanted the chili. Oh no, my chili fell. I'm gonna take this little guy mm -hmm. right here. So this was not exactly what I was expecting when I said garlic and butter like I do. Garlic, salt, and butter done. Mm -hmm. This is another level. Let's try it. See what we got. See what kind of flavor we got in here. Oh. Cooked through. All the way, perfectly. Mm. Perfectly cooked. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many times do I come out black on one side, raw on the other side? <laughs> yeah, starting it on the on uh -huh. the on the coals on the shell side, because it doesn't matter if you burn the shell, mm -hmm. you're not burning the meat. You know what I mean? And you kept it clean, which I was surprised about. Oh, no sand. Yeah, well, no sand and no, no sand. ash. No, you, know, you gotta oh, be yeah. really careful with like you know the mm -hmm. rotation and how you set it down and how you pick it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My guys, juicy. Mm -hmm. The fresh herb. The flavors of the chili, the, the sea salt the gathered sea right salt. there. The sea salt was key. That was no, key. That was huge. A little chili pepper. Love it. Sammy, what do you think? Really good. Mm, love it. Better than my usual lobster? I like whatever herbs you put. It's the herbs. Uh-huh. You know, and what's cool about this is we have access to all these herbs. They're just our friendly, our neighbor gardens, you know? Mm -hmm. It has a lot of flavor. We just need to learn how to use these herbs a little bit better. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's about it. That was a lot of fun doing a night dive. I love night dives, man. Same. So much Same. fun. Man, those lobsters come crawling out. And I like how that that cliff wall. Yep. Just that the you know area where they're is gonna be. so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right on the edge, right on the edge of that wall. And a lot of them just sitting sitting on that shelf mm -hmm. under the water. I told you the big ones. Yeah. Come around the corner, and there's one in two feet of water, just sitting there, easy as nothing. Just yeah. grab the thing, and you're done. That's literally what happened. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Big shout out to Ryan Myers Expeditions. Links in the description for his YouTube channel, uh, and he's doing some Facebook stuff too. If you want to check him out there, feel free. All right. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.